today, I'm going to talk to you about septoplasty and reduction of inferior turbinates. The nose is divided into right and left via a partition called nasal septum. Septoplasty refers to an operation that straightens the crooked septum. In the nose, there are also small wings known as turbinates. Terminates regulate the amount of airflow. Reduction of inferior terminates refer to trimming of the bulky lower terminates so that it improves the nasal airflow. Terminate consists of bone as well as the lining of the bone called mucous membrane. The mucous membrane can become congested in response to gravity such as lying down, allergies, infections, hormonal changes, certain food or medication. When the terminates become enlarged, they block the nasal passages and make you feel congested. In combination, deviated septum and enlarged terminates result in nasal obstruction. Nasal obstruction can lead to poor sleep, difficulty concentrating, abnormal facial growth, from long-term mouth breathing and obstructive sleep apnea. Treatment for these conditions frequently involve addressing the primary problem, including treating nasal allergies with nasal washing and spray, as well as treating the underlying infections. A good proportion of these patients will require surgical intervention either with septoplasty or reduction of inferior terminates or a combination of both. Many studies have shown that these operations are safe and are very effective in relieving nasal obstruction with long-lasting effects. The surgery is performed under general anaesthetic and generally takes between one to one and a half hours. Patients generally stay overnight for recovery. Day surgery might be possible. The surgery is performed endoscopically, that is with a small specialised camera that can be inserted up the nose. This means no external cut on the face will be required. Immediately after the surgery, the patient is expected to have the occasional small bleeds from the nose. Patients are asked to start nasal douching the next day. Bending down, blowing off the nose, or any activities that increases the blood pressure should be avoided for at least one week. Huan Ning Ni Lai, Hunters Hill Private Hospital.